the message put out by Congresswoman Liz Cheney late today on what Americans should expect in this next public hearing, the third hearing in front of the country of the January 6th committee. They will focus on the pressure placed on former Vice President Mike Pence by the former president not to certify the election. And tonight, what Mike Pence is now saying, speaking out, saying he was the one who did the right thing that day. Here's our chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. As lawmakers prepare to outline what they describe as Donald Trump's relentless pressure campaign against his own vice president, Mike Pence is speaking out. I'll always believe that I did my duty that day. And I know in my heart of hearts I did. And I believe that when all the information and the facts come forward, the American people will better understand what occurred. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff has testified that it was Pence, not Donald Trump, who called the Pentagon when the Capitol was under siege. So with th uh, two or three calls with Vice President Pence, he was very animated and he issued very explicit, uh, very direct, unambiguous orders. There was no question about that. Get the military down here. Get the guard down here. By contrast, here is General Milley's description of his conversation with President Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, on January 6th. He said, um, we, have, we have to kill the narrative that the vice president is making all the decisions. The committee is using the testimony of Trump's own top advisors to make the case against him. Former Attorney General Bill Barr saying when it came to claims of a stolen election, Trump didn't care about the truth. When I went into this and would, you know, tell him how crazy some of these allegations were, there was never, there was never an indication of interest in what the actual facts were. The committee says Trump and his allies conned supporters into donating some $250 million to fight the election results. So not only was there the big lie, there was the big ripoff. Where did the money actually go? One million of it went to a foundation run by White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. More than $200,000 spent at Trump Organization properties. Kimberly. And tens of thousands of dollars went to Donald Trump Jr.'s fiance, Kimberly Guilfoyle, who was seen backstage at the rally outside the White House on January 6th. Liberty loving patriots that will not let them steal this election. She spoke for two and a half minutes and then was paid $60,000. 60,000 for two and a half minutes. John Carl with us live again tonight from the Capitol. John, we know this next hearing uh, scheduled for Thursday early afternoon. We'll have it live here on ABC. You and I will be on the air with our team. Uh, we're going to hear about this pressure put against uh, Mike Pence. Uh, some of the former vice president's closest advisors set to testify about uh, the efforts to pressure him into not certifying the election. David, you heard Liz Cheney say they will focus on what she called the relentless pressure campaign on Pence. Pence himself has not spoken to the committee, will not be speaking to the committee on Thursday, but he has given the green light to all of his top aides to cooperate with the committee. You will hear those voices on Thursday, including live testimony from his former chief counsel. This is the lawyer who was at Pence's side throughout it all as Donald Trump and those outside lawyers were trying to pressure him to use his power power they, he didn't really have to overturn the election. All right, John Carl with us tonight. John, thank you as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.